Okay, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. We're going to do a little convomosation here because it's necessary. Because I've been putting out at least four videos thus far. There'll be two coming up. This is the fourth. This is the fifth one. Um, what I guess I'm trying to say to all of you is... The information that you're receiving, you can apply now. You don't have to wait months or weeks. You, Some of you, as I mentioned before, have said you wanted to wait and see if anybody got in trouble. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, what kind of trouble can you get in for following the law? Because I'm not telling anybody anything wrong. You see... Many of you guys don't understand Jehovah's Witnesses because you think we're a cult, we're a religion, or we're all of this other stupid stuff. Please understand something about Jehovah's Witnesses first. And some of them will argue with me about this, but we're not a religion. Religions have doctrines. Sorry, I don't have any doctrines that I follow. I, I have one day out of the entire year that I celebrate. And that's... This year will be March 27th. I talk to you guys about it all the time. But we don't follow doctrine. We follow what the scripture says. Some people say, well, you guys believe this. You, How can you tell me what I believe? I've always wondered that. How can people who don't even know me tell me what I believe, you guys? Uh, okay. Let me go ahead and explain why I'm doing this particular video. I just got finished... Finishing up the arbitration, the arbitration that I was telling people two hours ago, doing a video for two hours, two hours ago, I just finished that. An arbitration that took me from Friday until today to complete. Truth be told. Why? Because it's not a simple process doing an arbitration. That's why individuals make $100 an hour with our arbitration association. Because this is serious. This is not a get-rich-quick thing. We brought on quite a few people, but they couldn't handle that aspect of things. And I, I understand. This is not for everybody. Although I, I wish it would be for everybody. I wish everybody was doing it. But again, it's not for everybody. Everybody can't do this because they can't handle the pressure. We have individuals trying to sue us because they don't like the fact that we are following the law. They want to say that we are oh, making things up and just giving out these heavy little, again, all they're saying is words. They're not proving anything. They're just opening and closing their mouths on paper without any proof. And the court is saying basically they created a record. So when we rebut their stupidity, we're held as being nonsensical and irrelevant and uh, rambling. And well, you do ramble. I mean, I mean, you just you start and you just keep going and going. And I just shut up. So getting back to this video thing. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't mind putting out information for you. I had somebody ask me earlier today, well, why can't I do the videos in part one, part two, part three, part four? Because information doesn't work that way. For instance, I explained to the person, if you go to college to become a lawyer, how long does that take? Well, it takes a whole lot less time to become a a so-called truck driver than it takes to become a lawyer. Now, the truck drivers will argue with me, but I went to truck driving school. Okay, I finished, what is it, third in that stupid class? It wasn't stupid. It was one of the top classes. As a matter of fact, it's one of the largest truck driving schools in America now that I went to. It wasn't at the beginning, but the guy who was president for the last couple of years was my trainer. Um, so... And I'd like to say he taught pretty good because there are some of the things that he taught me while training that I still do to this day when driving. Okay, so 
when I tell people, I know what it means to drive uh, with a license. Because that's what I did. I drove with a license for many years. But enough about all of that. Let's get back to this. The reason for doing these videos is because now is the time for you to know that you're sitting at home. So you have plenty of time to listen to the videos. You don't have to watch Netflix all day. You can actually educate yourself. You can go to school. If you go to YouTube, there is a coding. Um, what do you call it? Uh, it's not a. It's not a principle, not a practice, but it's a. It's a different way of coding. They call Python. Now it's been around for a moment, but everybody's getting into Python. Everybody's learning coding. They're learning the Python method. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you can go to school to learn Python, but you can go to YouTube where they're actually teaching it on video. 13, 15 uh, sessions of it, and you become an expert at Python. You may not understand fully what that means. You may not grasp it and get it, but you need to understand that that's it. That's where everybody's going as far as computers are concerned, as far as the industry, because we know that we're all going online. Everything's going to be online. We're not going to be doing the uh, physical stuff because everything's going to be computers. If you haven't realized that by now, I'm sorry that you're so far behind in time. Well, I can't do computers, son. I mean, I'm just, I ain't got time to be learning no Python and no, 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 no boa constrictor stuff. I ain't got that. That's not me, okay? And that's fine, which is why the video that I did just a moment ago will help each of you to balance your budgets at home to go ahead and get some act right because I gave you the process for how to get rid of your debt, period. You don't have to pay me for that. Well, didn't you ask us to donate something to you if, you, if we were successful in doing a business or something? That's a business. I'm not asking for you to do nothing for me if you do it personal. Take care of your personal stuff first. Take care of you and your family. Put your family interests and needs first. Okay? That's what that's all you got right now is your family. And some of you guys, you, you're just getting upset with each other and mad and angry because this is very difficult being around the same people 24 hours a day. Well, imagine doing what I just did for the last two years. You're only having to do it for a year. I just did it for two years. And you, you didn't have to do it for the whole year. You got a chance to get in your car and drive away and go and camp and do whatever you wanted to away from people. I didn't get that chance, people. So trust me, I know what you're going through because it was a whole lot worse for us. And I, I eventually one day I'll give you guys this feel on everything that went down and all the stupidity. But I wanted to take this time to let you know that many of you are thinking all is lost. I've had a couple of people, I had one guy call me and tell me how much he needed help because he had this problem and that problem. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there are too many of you. I can't handle all your problems. Man, I cannot handle all your problems. I can only do what I can to help all of you at one time. In other words, by putting the information out there for all of you in this form. Yes, yeah, some people have access to my number. If you want the number, 631 uh, five Eon V3, five, uh, three. You know what? I don't know the number six to one. See, I don't, I don't even know that stupid number, but I do know it's Eon five, um, uh, six, three, one, five Eon V3. Yeah. Five numbers. So, uh, but I, I just know that it's my Google voice number and most people already have it. It's been on video. You can try calling. Maybe I'll answer. Maybe I won't pick up. Uh, that's the way that rolls. And most people, some of you are going to take this personal, and I, I kind of hate that because I'm going to make a comment, and you're going to think I'm talking to you. Well, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to you, okay? So you don't have to worry about it because I'm only talking to you. You follow me? I, I kind of figured you'd understand. Um, don't take it personal. But some of you are going to contact me, and it's going to be, you're going to want the conversation to be all about you. And it can't be that way because 
you're calling me. So the conversation can't be about you. It has to be about me. So no, I'm not going to talk about myself, but what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to just let you mine me for data, mine me for information. You, you, you know what I'm saying? Do you mind? So I, I'm here, but I'm not here because I got an organization to run. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to start. Well, I'm getting ready to start Eon TV. So it's eon.tv. I'm working on it. That is my goal. I'm also getting ready to implement TTLPP. If you have it, if you don't know what TTLPP is getting ready to do, and I promise you it's getting ready to do it, TTLPP.org. TTOPPtop.org. Dot com, not me. God, that ain't me. But TTOPP.org. Take a look at it. I haven't been to it in a while and I gotta update the site, but because that site was put in place because of what's going on now and what's about to happen with the housing market. That's why TTOPP was put in place. Why? Because when it was first put on the internet for all of you in 2017, I told you this was coming. I keep telling people, go back and listen to the videos of how I was given advance warning about this stupid pandemic. No, I didn't imagine it. Of course, we all knew that there was going to be a pandemic, but somebody told you that there was going to be one. I even told people that when it happened, I would be inside a facility. Don't knock me. Go back and listen to the video. I told all of you it was coming, and I told everybody where I was going to be because I received understandings is the best way to explain it. All I can tell you is I didn't know it five seconds ago, but I understand it now. It's hard to explain, but that's the best way I can explain it. And I just sit back and watch things take place. One day, I think I have it here someplace. You know what? I think I have it here. I, I want to... Give me a second. I have to go through a couple of envelopes while I'm talking to you all. But I wrote down something, and I've only told it to two people. But when I say I wrote down something and I've only told it to two people, I'm going to let you guys know about my understandings. Some, some people are going to say, oh, that's big. And you're going to see that it's not big after I read it. So give me a moment. Matter of fact, let me pause y'all because I don't want to bore y'all with me just searching through these papers. One second. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I wrote something. Eventually, what I will do is I will put this on uh, the computer and I'll put it on video because what I'm writing, I definitely would like for you all to understand my thought processes because people, oh, I don't know how to think like you. You can't think like me. I'm just going to tell you, I met a young man inside the facility. Um, dang it, I can't think of the, <laughs> I can't think of his name right now. That's a shame. That happens all the time. But this youngster was a lot younger than me. He's the only one that I've met so far that came close to thinking like me. And in the end, it turns out that he didn't think like me, but he came close. And that's all right, because I don't expect anybody else to think the way I do. All I can tell you is I'm hoping that I can find this because I did write it down, and I think I'm getting close to the area that it's in because I see another thing that I wrote. And I don't want to. I don't want to read too much of it because it ain't that time yet. But it's uh, a lot of people don't understand what's going on in our world. They can't see the behind the scenes stuff. The especially the issue with the. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful AI systems that are running things in this world. It just, they don't get it. Uh, when I do read this finally, the information that I have here, when I do go over it, then some of you will get it. And I'm positive, not the way I think, but some of you will get what's been going on behind the scenes because it's all right out there in front of us. They're not hiding anything. 
The problem is, is they have a lot of distractions. So those distractions are to keep you distracted so that you can't see. And that's a shame because I thought I, I know what's in here, but I don't see it in here. And I don't want to keep y'all. So what I'll do is I'll mention it now and then I'll read it to y'all later. Now you're going to say, well, how do we know you wrote that then? On 7-10-2019, I was allowed to understand the following. What I know is that a plane will crash with someone extremely important. I don't know who, only that it will be the only thing talked about, maybe to distract, as quite possibly will be reported as an accident, but will not be. Who, what, where, when? or the full details is not clear. 7-10-2019 at this moment. That's when I wrote that. The first plane, there was a plane that uh, had an emergency landing. It had an actor in it, he and his family and his child, and I forgot who it was. And it was no big deal. They walked away unscathed. So I thought that that was it, but that wasn't. it wasn't big enough for it to get the whole world's attention. And that was December of 2019. Then two, less than two months later, February, beginning of February 2020, a helicopter crashes. But if you go back and you listen to the audio of the 911 call, the operator says, so, sir, are you saying a plane crashed? And he had to say, no, a helicopter. Well, then I looked at the definition of a helicopter. A helicopter is nothing but a plane that takes off vertically. That's all it is. But when I thought about how they talked about how over 400 murals of Mr. Bryant is around this world, that he was loved that much. Now, I tell people I wasn't a big fan of Kobe Bryant when he first came into the league. I, I was not a big fan of anybody coming into the NBA at the age of 18. Magic Johnson being one of the first ones to do that, I, I did not appreciate that because the NBA was always men and not boys. And when I say boys, college, they usually went to college and then they came out of college and they were more seasoned and they worked their way to becoming all-stars. Then they started this push to bring in teenagers, Kobe Bryant being one of the first ones to be groomed from a teenager. But I saw him play in an NBA All-Star game, the last All-Star game Michael Jordan played in. And I seen Kobe do a crossover in the middle of the court, coming on a fast break. And when I saw the way he pivoted and turned while doing the crossover, at that point in my mind, I said, I'm a fan of that man now. Because this was on the fly. This was uh, impromptu. He did not practice doing that. At that moment, it was just the way he adapted to the situation. I became a fan. Now, I know there are going to be a lot of you going to be telling me about how you were a fan and blah, blah, blah. No, I'm only mentioning that on June's, what was it? I forgot the exact day, uh, June 10th or July 10th, 2019. That's what I wrote. There's a bunch of stuff like that, not in this particular writing, because I write down this stuff so that I could talk about it later, so that I can, for myself, understand that what I've been allowed to understand is not anything other than for my benefit. This is not for your benefit, those type of understandings. That's for me to understand that I'm on my right course, as opposed to being on someone else's course. That means that I just need to toe the line and stay on course, and I'm going to stay on course. Some of you get it. Some of you get it. Some of you will never get it. And got to talk to in Vogue about that. Now, I'm going to take about 10 more minutes and I'm going to end this video. I just wanted to mention a couple of things because I'm sitting up here tonight. I realized that they took a lot from me, but they haven't taken a lot from me, if that makes any sense. Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you what we're getting ready to do. That arbitration award you just saw me put together, we've been having the courts try to challenge us, and they've been coming at us with words, just just, just opening and closing their mouths. No proof, just words. 
they they actually told me that our corporation, because that's what they like to do to corporations, they like to have corporations bring in attorneys so that they can milk them dry with attorney's fees and keep that little railroad system going. And told them no. Said Schwer versus Board of Examiners and uh, what is it? Um, Sims versus Aaron's Supreme Court said, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, can't do that. Can't can't license the practice of law. You can't make it to where only a licensed attorney can come into that room." Well, they say they have a two hundred year old tradition in America that corporations cannot enter the court without a licensed attorney. Well, first, there is no such thing as a licensed attorney. So I'm challenging that at every every turn, every angle. Why? Because those idiots now got to prove that they're licensed to practice law, of which they can't. That's what I'm doing. I'm gonna make them prove to me that they can they can practice. And again, like I said, they can't. Well, guess what? I have in front of me. And I want you all to pay attention to this. I have in front of me Private Law 114-31. We're going to be attaching this to every single award that we issue from now on. See, they're saying that the contracts are gobbledygook, uh, word soup, they're just blah, 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 blah. That's what they're saying because they're just words because they get to create the narrative, they get to create the record because they can strike our documents, but we can't strike their junk. Well, this law right here that was passed by a majority Congress, I love it because guess what it does? Now, many of you will notice that the private law on the first page of the private law, not the bill, the word beneficiaries is spelled wrong. That's the only typo in the whole document. We do know that the final copy that was done, because this was the original rough draft that was sent out to the parties, the final copy that was done doesn't have that on there, but we can't get access to it because it's a private law. If you notice, ever since 1971, they changed the law about private laws. That's why they're not even published anymore. Go ahead and do your research. Look for private laws that were this year, last year, the year before. They don't get to publish all of them. They change the rules. But we're not concerned about that with this private law, because if you take a look at the Bradley Christopher Stark's folder, and ladies and gentlemen, I want you to understand, we're getting ready to put the documents back online. They took all 40 gigabytes worth of documents offline, but I just got finished this past weekend putting over 5,000 documents back up. We had over 20,000 documents up there, and I don't have access to all my files, but I assure you, you're going to find that most of the documents you're looking for are right back up there, and we're going to be adding more. We're going to redo the arbitration folder and put that together for you. I'll try to get that done by the weekend, okay? But that's what we're doing. But this particular law, I want you to understand why we're doing this. You see, they want to challenge the award. They want to challenge the contract. They want to say, well, this contract, this law was based on a contract that was done the exact same way by a private arbitrator who was not a lawyer or a judge and who did not work for one of them word soup organizations. So what I'm trying to say is, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to use this law to the best of our ability. And if they want to challenge the law, then we're going to call in Ron uh, Rand Paul. Why? Because he was the sponsor of the private law. He sponsored the bill. So if anybody knows whether or not this law is there or not there, it's Rand Paul. And he can go ahead and talk about the contract because it was sent to the judiciary twice. The Judiciary Committee for Congress, this bill was sent to them twice. So they approved it, and Congress, in section number two, which is my favorite, the findings of Congress, they found that the contract was binding upon the parties. But wait a minute. All they did was sent the contract in the mail to the Attorney General. Sure enough, Shogun. Wait, you mean the Attorney General when he didn't respond? Sure enough, Shogun was liable, that's what this law does. It helps to establish that the process and the procedure that we do is 100% accurate. It doesn't matter if people know the arbitrator. Everybody can know the arbitrator. It doesn't matter. The law does not require the arbitrator 
to be a neutral neutral. The law says that the arbitrator can be known to everybody who's part of the arbitration. The law just only holds that the arbitrator has to be impartial. Can you be impartial? Well, I can. Because I don't have a pony in that race. I don't have a dog in that race. And I definitely don't have a snail in that race. All I have, ladies and gentlemen, all I have is my integrity. What did Job say? Yeah, I'm talking about Job of the Bible. Hob to my uh, Latin-speaking uh, comadres, compadres, con laude, blah, 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 Job said, until I die, I will not take away my integrity from myself. Above all things, ladies and gentlemen, be true to yourself. So I have to do things the right way. I can't do things the wrong way. I've tried doing things the wrong way and realized that's not me. So I have to be my the same old corny person I've always been because that's always been me. So I'm going to be me because I can't be anybody else. I, I've tried being someone else and it just doesn't work. So I'm going to be me. So getting back to attaching this private law to each one of our arbitration awards, ladies and gentlemen, if you even want to do one better, attach a copy of this private law to your contract. Look, as of Monday of last week, they are getting ready to try to change the Federal Arbitration Act. So I've already told all of you, if you haven't done your contracts, if you haven't done your arbitrations yet, you're okay for now, but when they change it, hope that they don't make it retroactive. Get your stuff done first, okay? Get it done first. I can't tell you what tomorrow's going to bring. All I know is that we're going to continue to do what we do. And as I demonstrated in that two-hour video, we don't just sit up here and rubber stamp nothing. There is a process that goes on. It gets reviewed, then it gets sent out by a different section. Why? Because I am not acting as an employee. I'm acting as an independent arbitrator when I do the arbitration. I have nothing to do with the assignment process. Okay? Not my job. All right, we talked about the arbitration, talked about the private law, and I think that's about it. I don't, I don't see anything else that I'm to be talking with you guys about today. We are going to be processing the credits for our SAP pack and other people. Now, I've had some people ask me if they can become part of the SAP pack and when we're going to do our Q packs. Ladies and gentlemen, the Q packs are going to be up again in just a moment. We are just getting ourselves, getting our bearings because it's been all the other organizations out there have had to rely on stimulus checks. We've had no stimulus checks. We've had no access to any of those funds, but we're still here. Look, SACOM has been around since 2016. Technically 2014 when I first came up with the name. No, actually SACOM, I came up with the name SACOM in 2012. Come to think about it, I did that in New Mexico. So that was 2012 that I came up with SACOM. But we didn't actually start doing anything until 2016. And now look at us. We're still here. Most companies falter within six years. It used to be two years. It used to be six months. And then it keeps going longer and longer. You got to, you know, stay afloat. But we're afloat. We're not receiving any monies from any other organization or outside forces. But we're still here. A lot of people want to say, you know, we're taking advantage of it, people. Ladies and gentlemen, we haven't taken advantage of anybody. I know that some of you have not been responded to in a timely fashion, and I promise you that bothered me then and it bothers me now, and I'm going to do my best to make sure all of you are taken care of. Oh, you're going to take care of them, all right? Um, especially all of those of you who have been loyal, have been here from the start. I just spoke to a gentleman, his name is McCoy. And McCoy has been with us, been a part of several programs because he had a little bit of faith. And for that, he gets rewarded. Okay? And the same with all the rest of you. Now, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't be greedy. I promise you, 
it will be more than you ask for. I've been promising you that from the very beginning. I just need a break so I can put it together. All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I am looking for a CPA, actually two. If you know of a CPA and you want to put them in touch with me, go ahead and send me an email. I'm going to give you an email address. It's eon, E-E-O-N-V-3, the letter V, the number three, eonv3 at gmail.com. Same email that we've always used for these videos. Uh, go ahead and send me an email, put the thing notary in the subject line, and that will be appreciative. Um, and I'm also looking for someone who has access, 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 access to information about the uh, deep fake software. You know what I mean by deep fake? Make the voice, da, da, da. Need that. And someone who has some real webmaster experience, not not those who tinker. I'm looking for people who actually know how to design sites. And when I say design, I mean sites similar to that of YouTube. Okay, because I'm going to be putting together a video site uh, similar to YouTube and Veolium, or whatever that name is uh, for that particular site. That's what I'm looking for. So if you know anybody, have them shoot me a email. All right, hey. You can see nothing has changed. Back in the swing of things, still doing the exact same thing. Nothing has changed because as I promised everybody, no matter where I go, no matter where I end up, I will not change. If not for the better. See, better, not better, but better with a D. <laughs> All right. Hey, thank you very much, guys. I am tired. It's time for me to go and chill out and do the best I can to do that. Y'all take care. Have a good day, have a good life, and I hope everything goes all right.